It only takes one quick look at this place and you're going to be like, damn, that is some tacky office space right there. Not only this, but you are probably thinking that this looks like a hideous corporate space more than a warm, comfortable living residence. It must have something nice going for it though, right? Of course, this house is a little tacky as it is now and would require a tremendous renovation, but I will say it has an absolute killer location with the lake view. Hey folks, welcome back once again. In today's video, we're going to give you a grand tour through the abandoned Evergreen Crystal Palace. But before we jump into it, let me ask you, would you ever live in such a big mansion? Even if you did, would you call the frozen time capsule your home? Drop it in the comments below because we want to know what you guys think of it. And make sure to hit the subscribe button for us. Turn on the notification bell and let's begin. Hit that intro. When we said earlier that this place is located at an absolute killer location, we really meant it. The Evergreen Crystal Palace is a true one-of-a-kind residential or, let's just say, corporate retreat situated high above Branson's Table Rock Lake in Missouri, USA. The 30,000-square-foot eyesore of a mansion was built in the 1990s for Empire Gas founder Robert Plaster. It features a 14-plus car garage, 14 bedrooms, a helicopter pad, and even houses a full-fledged shooting range. And guess what? That's only the tip of the iceberg. This sounds like the sort of stuff Richie Rich would own. Sadly, this mansion has been untouched since the 1990s. Once you take a step into the mansion, you will see that the entire interior of the house is frozen in time from the 1990s. Ken Coleman, the longtime real estate agent in southwest Missouri, was brought out of retirement to help sell this expansive $80 million home. Ken says that the family is selling off all of their big properties after Steve Plaster, the trustee of the estate, had a health scare. Fair enough, can you imagine the sort of property taxes that one has to shell out for it every year? The mansion became viral on YouTube shortly when an influencer named Big Banks uploaded a home tour on the platform. According to his video, he is just a youngster traveling the world exploring some of the best abandoned locations. And guess what? The Crystal Palace video has 1.5 million views and counting. Okay, let's get back to the house tour. The massive five-story glass building was created by architect Dennis Spencer and cost a jaw-dropping $6 million to complete at the time. It was supposedly the most expensive home ever built in Missouri. Glass, you say? Lots of glass, you say? Well, let's add on to that by also introducing you to the multi-level glass atrium. There, it supposedly houses two time capsules, the first one of which will be opened on September 3rd, 2042, and the second on September 3rd, 2092. We hate the suspense of not knowing what's in these. Let's open them now already. As expected, the bathrooms are nothing short of excellence. Boy, we'd love to have a large walk-in shower like the one present in this house. And again, with such a high building, an elevator to your rooms is essential rather than walking so many flights of stairs all the time. I guess it's also your exercise gym step master if you wanted to. At least we save on gym membership costs with this property. We're halfway, guys. Go grab your popcorn because we're not done with the tour yet. Before that, though, make sure to smash up that like button and hit that bell notification if you haven't already done so. This way, you don't miss a single video we make. For the low, low cost of hitting that button, we bring you hours of entertainment for free. Stay tuned and subscribe already. Anyways, let's get back to it. With its 3,000-square-foot master bedroom, outfitted with a baby grand piano and private stairs, the top floor of the mansion would be ideal for someone like President Donald Trump. He could use this as a business suite and residence. No need to take work home from the office when you're basically living at your office. It does seem like Trump's sort of taste of architecture now that we think about it. Individual offices with views of the lower level are also a feature of this home. Though the home's salmon-colored furnishings and Italian green marble are old and outdated by today's standard, a good reno might be in order. It might never have that comfortable feel to it, though, given the corporate vibes with all that glass. Each bedroom has its unique theme and is decorated with art from around the world. The majority of the artwork will be auctioned together with the house. Let's not be too critical here. It was the best thing money could buy at that time. Everything from the 1990s when this place was built is still within the residence, an eerie abandoned lot. Some have commented. Don't worry, it has all been cleaned up at this time and they've also removed the debris and damage that occurred here in the past. It is now hella clean and presentable AF so this sucker sells. For us, the selling point would be the massive 8,000 square foot garage. 
We love cars on this channel, and to be able to house something like 14 or more of them would be a dream come true. If you can afford this 80 mil property, what's another few million dollars to stack it with your fave Lambos, Ferraris, Porsches and so on? This section of the 320-acre property feels like its own massive palace in and of itself. How about some historical background? The Evergreen Crystal Palace was constructed in 1991 by Evergreen National Corporation. According to the Stone County Assessor at the time, the building's construction cost $6 million only, while the value of Plaster's land was close to $750,000. That's some crazy gains if it's now worth that $80 million price tag. Despite early claims that the estate would be used as Plaster's home and an Evergreen business getaway, Evergreen's council has already stated that the structure was a company facility. You want more history? Well, let's keep going. In 1996, Plaster sold his Empire Gas business to his son Steve and other execs, only to again be sold later that same year to Northwestern Public Service Company. Northwestern reportedly dished out $120 million and founded Cornerstone Propane Partners. We wish our methane gas was worth something in that range if you catch our drift. Robert Plaster was also a generous man, having given some $250,000 in 1984 for the construction of a sports complex football field for the Southwest Baptist University in Bolivar. This is just peanuts in comparison to the generous $2.5 million that he gave to the College of the Ozarks for the construction of the Robert W. Plaster School of Business in 1986. We could actually go on and on about his further donations, but this video would get exceedingly long and we would encourage you to read up on it more. Let's just say the man donated hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next many years. How awesome would it be to be engraved into history books this way? The generosity will forever live on. Now our question to you is, would you ever visit this place or would you want to own it? Many people have spotted this mansion from afar but have never had the opportunity to visit it. The thrill seeker and explorers in us have us on our seats and quenching for a peek. The sheer oddness of having this sort of corporate style building on a 320 acres of surrounding wilderness overlooking one of the deepest and cleanest lakes in the USA tickles our fancy. Going with the odd theme might as well add a huge slide so you can get from top to bottom in a heartbeat. <laughs> Why not? This property has potential. It could be used in Hollywood movie sets. It could be used as a tourist destination. It could be used as Dr. Evil's headquarters. <laughs> the possibilities. A more realistic statement mentioned is that if the house sells, the funds will be used to fund college activities for students as Plaster had intended. So, what do you think now? Would you list it or would you love it? Drop it in the comments section below. Anyways, we're winding up on today's episode. Don't forget to like and share. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos and scroll through some of our other great content. Bye for now and we'll see you in the next one.